Uh, good evening from where are we? Laurel, Mississippi. Laurel, Mississippi. We're like in the middle of the state, huh? Um, I'm here with my friend um, Neil Morris and uh, Neil. Um, and I have been friends for seven, eight, eight more than eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, Neil is uh, is uh, in in my era from New Orleans, although he's from somewhere before that. And uh, he is married to uh, a longtime friend of uh, Joanne's, Anne, and um, Pablo uh, grew up in L.A. but spent a lot of time. Uh, over the holidays and on spring breaks in New Orleans and and uh, in Florida uh, with Neil's family and our friends Gretchen and John's family's uh, family and um, uh, Neil and Anne have have two kids who were right around Pablo's age Henry and Natalia and so um, they were like his best friends in New Orleans and um, and Neil is a very special person to me. He makes me laugh, uh, which, believe me, sometimes I need. Uh, and uh, he's been an incredible, uh, inspirational rider out here this week on Pablo Across America. Neil is not what I would call a um, rider, a cyclist, a cyclist. <laughs> he is, uh, for instance, uh, doesn't wear spandex shorts. Let me show you what we wear. Uh, and they're inside out, so you can get a really good idea of what they are. We wear this, this is called a chamois, because it actually used to be made of chamois material with like padding underneath. But now it's synthetic and it's spongy. Um, Neil does not wear such things. Uh, and then of course this is the, um, the oft uh, ridiculed spandex. Ours is cool because it has Pablo's um, drawings on it. Um, but Neil... Um, is his own kind of rider, and, and, and it's amazing. Like, you don't subscribe to the whole weight weenie thing, and he's just rocking. And I swear to God, I'm not gonna say he was accepting friends on Facebook at a stoplight today, but he was doing something on his, I, on his iPhone, which is attached to a bracket on his, on his handlebars. So you were doing something on there? Perhaps. Okay. Tomorrow I'm gonna to bring my alarm clock on mine and just make sure that I'm awake. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So um, it's pretty uh, rare uh, in the history of how we just made up this ride and started doing dedications that I um, would ever, um, you know, I used to do these dedications by myself in my room with my laptop, and um, it's rare that I've ever done it with someone else. Uh, at nighttime when we dedicate our resting hours to um, a child who who has lost their battle with cancer. Um, today, um, Joanne said to me, you know, we should dedicate a night um, to um, Neil's cousin. And um, so, you know, here we are. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step away and let Neil um, tell you about his connection prior to Pablo um, with for the Ezra Cancer, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I'm going to leave uh, Neil to tell his story. Mm. Chris Powers, my first cousin, my best friend, uh, leukemia, Augusta, Georgia. Uh, Dr. Schleyer was his oncologist. We lost Chris uh, when he was 14, I was 12, 1985 sister of Wendy, son of Fred and Sherry, a life cut short, and I think of him all the time, and it is for Chris that I ride. That's it. Thank you.